the law. Welcome back to another episode of Bass Bros. And today, guys, it is Sunday. So you know what that means? Scripture Sunday. So let's get right into the word. So the title of my message today is going to be Keep Your Eyes on Jesus. And the verses that I'm going to be reading through is Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 through 36. And I'm just going to start off by reading those verses right here. And it is titled, Jesus Walks on Water. I'm sure a lot of you have heard this story. I'm pretty sure I've read this one before. It's just, it's amazing. But here we go. Immediately, he made the disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side while he sent the crowds away. After he had sent the crowds away, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. And when it was evening, he was there alone. But the boat was already a long distance from the land, battered by the waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea. When the, when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Take courage. It is I. Do not be afraid. Peter said to him, Lord, if it, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. And he said, Come. And Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came towards Jesus. But seeing the wind, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and took hold of him and said to him, You have little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind stopped, and those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, You are certainly God's son. When they had crossed over, they came to land at Genesaret. Don't know if I said that right. Anyways, let's continue. <laughs> And when the men of that place recognized him, they sent word into all the surrounding district and brought to him all who were sick. And they implored him that they might just touch the fringe of his cloak. As many touched, it were cured. There is so much packed in those little verses right here, but the big idea that I'm going to just focus on out of this, uh, these verses right here is that you cannot focus on Jesus while you're looking somewhere else. And my big question for you today, and this is a big question for myself, and you don't have to answer it, out loud you just you just you it's between you and god you got you guys know the answer to this one he knows the answer and i'm sure you do as well but what is your wind like that's just the question what is your wind in this situation that is taking your eyes off of jesus as peter was walking out he was literally walking on water like just 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 think about that he was physically walking on water but he started seeing the wind and got frightened and started to sink so what is that thing that you you hear jesus say take courage it is i do not be afraid. And he said, come, come out to me. So what is that step that you're taking out of that boat? So that boat was kind of like a comfort place. Let's think of it that way. The boat, Peter was comfortable in that boat. He's like, yeah, I'm sitting on this boat, you know, boats, what do boats do on the water? They float. They allow you to stay like afloat and don't sink and don't drown, especially if it's windy, it's probably really wavy. And that's kind of hard to swim in that. So if you were to fall overboard, it probably wouldn't be very good for you either because it's kind of hard to swim when there's a big storm and it seems like there's a pretty big storm out there in the water but peter was comfortable in that boat he's like yeah i'm sitting here i mean we're maybe get we may get water floated in here but at the end of the day i'm still floating i'm pretty comfortable in here it's kind of scary but you know it's all right i'm in my boat i'm floating i'm on the water i'm all nice dandy i'm safe and jesus is out on the water he's just walking on water like an absolute beast he's just like sup <laughs> So Jesus walks out there, he's on the water, and the disciples get frightened. They're like, whoa, whoa, whoa what the heck's going on over here? Because obviously if you saw someone walking on water, you might be frightened too. Like, yeah, what the heck is this dude walking on water for? Like, that just doesn't happen every day. But then Jesus just says, take courage. It is I, do not be afraid. Just take courage in him. Don't be afraid. It, it's it, literally, it's Jesus. Like, it. God is with you. Just take courage. Do not be afraid in the situation. He is right there. And then Peter over here, says, Lord, if it is you, because he's, he, he's got doubt. He doesn't think that's actually Jesus. They think it's a ghost. He, he's got doubt in his mind. So he's asking him, hey, God, if this is really you, command me to come. So let's put yourself in the situation of Peter right here. So Peter is doubting that that is actually Jesus out there. But he's sitting in this comfort place of his boat where he's, he's afloat and everything's okay. And, you know, maybe a little bit rough in here, but at the end of the day, he's still afloat and he's, he's doing okay. So the same thing in the situation of your life. Where are you at in your life right now that it's like, hey, it may be a little bit rough, you know, it's like, it's okay, but it's, it's comfortable. You're getting by and everything's okay. You know, you got some troubles here and there, but at the end of the day, you're pretty comfortable as to where you are. But you, but you see Jesus out in the distance and you feel him calling you to this other situation, like whether he's calling you to join this, that sports team or go apply for that job or go apply to that college or 
drop out of college or do this or do that. If he's like feeling you, calling you towards this other area of your life, but you're like, you know, Jesus, I'm, I'm doing pretty good here. But that if that is you, like Peter says, if that is you, command me to come out there on the water. So then Jesus says, come. So Peter takes the initiative to step out of that comfort zone. Just, just, think, just think of how crazy it is. Peter is sitting in a boat in the middle of the ocean. There is a huge storm. And he is about to walk out of the boat. Like, just think of that. Would you... <laughs> If Peter were to get out of that boat, fall in the water, he would drown and it just, it'd be over because super calm, super wavy out in the middle of the ocean, he's done for. He has that much faith that that is Jesus because he told them to come that he's stepping out that boat and going onto the water. And he actually starts to walk on water as well. That's just absolutely crazy. But that doesn't last too long because he starts to doubt and he has doubt in his mind and he's just like, okay. Uh, he sees the wind. He's like, okay, okay. It's getting pretty windy over here. And he begins to sink. And it's just like that. As soon as you doubt God, and as soon as you take your eyes off Jesus, you begin to sink in your life. You, you, things begin to just, just consume you. But luckily, it doesn't end there. <laughs> Peter cries out, Lord, save me. And immediately, Jesus goes over there, grabs him, pulls him out of the water. And he's like, dude, what the heck? Um, why are you even doubting me? Like, you have little faith, dude. He's just like, he's sitting there like, dude, I'm literally God. Why are you doubting me? Think of that as a situation in your life. There's a deer down there. Sorry, sorry I'm getting distracted. Anyways, <laughs> just think about that in your life. What is Jesus calling you to do? And what step do you have to take out of that comfort zone to get there? And if you're going to be making these, these huge steps based on faith, you got to keep your eyes on Jesus because the second you take your eyes off of Jesus is when you're going to be is when you're going to begin to sink and things are going to start to crumble and you're going to be like, okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? But just have faith and take courage and know that it is Jesus and it is God that is calling you out to that decision. So just pray about it. And if God is calling you and God says, come, start coming to him. But don't take your eyes off of him because the second you do that, it, everything's going to start to just just consume you and crumble around you. But if it does happen, because you know it's very hard to just keep your eyes straight on Jesus and keep going and keep going forward, trust me, I know, and you might begin to sink, but it is not too late. Just call out to the Lord. Lord, save me. Help me keep my eyes on you. Help keep me focused. Just pray and get in your word as much as you can and allow him to guide each and every step you take out of that comfort zone in your life. Because a lot of times, guys, this walk with faith, this walk in faith, it's not comfortable. You're going to be put in uncomfortable situations. You're going to be getting out of your comfort zone a lot. But just keep your eyes on Jesus and know that he is the king and he's right there with you. And he is not going to let you sink. I mean, granted, look at the situation around Peter. Super big storm. It, it may look absolutely terrible, but with Jesus, you're going to be okay. I mean, it kind of goes for driving. So if you're driving on the road, you're driving down the freeway, you got to keep focused on what's ahead of you and like where you're actually going because the second you start looking around like, oh, look at these trees over there and you're not focused on what's ahead, you're going to crash. You're going to hit something and it's not going to be good for you. So the same thing is our walk in faith. You have to keep focused on what's ahead and if, keep focused on Jesus because if you keep looking around you, you're going to get distracted and you're going to hit a wall. You're going to crash and it's just not going to be pretty for anyone. So... Just, just keep your eyes focused on Jesus and allow him to guide each and every step that you take out of that comfort zone because you're going to be put in un uncomfortable situations in this life. Everything's not going to go super smooth. God did not promise us an easy life, but he promised us eternal life. So just keep focused on him and keep going after him and allow him to be the one that is at the center of your life. And I promise that's when everything's going to begin to change. I'm not going to say it's going to get better instantly, but things are going to start to change and you're going to know that it is God in that situation. So let's go back to that question. What is your wind? What is making you keep your eyes off of Jesus? And once you can identify that and realize the things that are starting to take you down in your faith, you can begin to make change. And when you start to look at that thing and be like, oh crap, that's scary. You can know, okay, wait. Let's go back to Jesus because that is happening a lot in my life, guys, is that, you know, I'm, I'm just, I don't even know what's going on with me, guys, but it's been pretty rough and I, I begin to look at things in my life like, okay, how is that going to work out? Oh, that does not make any sense. And it's just like, I'll break down sometimes. I really will. And it's, it's not pretty, but each and every single time that happens, I'm like, okay, yeah, that may look like 
it's a very, very big wall, and I don't know how I can get over it. But instead of looking at that, just look at Jesus, and he's just like, okay, come with me. And boom, you're walking on water. Like, just think about how impossible that is. But with Jesus, that's possible. Like, that's just, as being a fisherman, like being around water, you know, it's like, okay, I can never walk on water. I can tell you that much. I can't do that. So if there's any doubt in your mind, just remember, keep your eyes on Jesus because he's the one that knows everything. Like the things that he says here, he meant it. The things that he says in the word, he meant it. That's just like, it's a crazy thing to realize is that like when Jesus said these things in the Bible, when you read these Bible verses, he meant it. Like, it's not just like, oh, okay, that happened for Peter. I'm kind of lost here. No, he gave us his word because it relates to us as well. It may not be in the same aspect of walking on water, but it, it does relate to us in the, the situations in our life that sometimes you're going to have to take that step out of your comfort zone. You're going to have to take that next step. And the only source of thing that you can rely on is Jesus. Because when Peter was taking that step out of that boat, he knew 100% on his own power that he was not going to walk in that water. But the only thing that was going to make him walk in that water was Jesus. So you can be making the biggest decision of your life and realizing that, okay, I am making this step in my life and I am relying 100% on Jesus because I know that by my my own power and my own strength, there is absolutely no way I can make this happen. And when you come to that decision, that is probably the best decision that you can make, knowing that you're fully trusting on him to make that possible for you. It may look scary because all the troubles and all the worries and all the things around you might be like, okay, well, that's pretty scary. How am I doing this? But the second you take your eyes off of Jesus, that's when you begin to sink. So if you're going to make this step on faith, just put all your faith in Jesus because like I said, Peter 100% probably knew, well, he 100% knew that he was not gonna walk in that water unless that was Jesus actually tell him to come out there. Just fully rely on Jesus. Make that decision that you're like, okay, God, I am making this step out of my faith because there is no way that this is possible without you. So if it happens, it's you. It's just, there's no other explanation to it. I feel like I'm making these steps in my life right now and it's scary, I can tell you that much. It is pretty scary. But once you rely fully on Jesus, knowing that, hey, God, um, the only way that this is possible is because of you. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to be, just, I'm going to try my best to keep my eyes right on Jesus. I'm right here with you guys. Like I said, every message that I preach is basically to myself, but I hope some of you also uh, get some, get something out of it as well. I love you all so much. I appreciate the support. And I hope this message spoke to some of y'all today. Hope you have a blessed rest of your Sunday. And God bless y'all.